Southern Shepherd, I focus on pouring into other people. Yes, yes. And yes. with that being said, at times, you don't realize how much you need to be poured into. Amen. Until it's actually happened. Amen. Amen. Apostle, thank you. Amen. Man, you ministered to me. Amen. Bless Hallelujah. Amen. Me too. I can't remember the last time that I've actually been preached to, been ministered to. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Bless him. Thank you, Jesus. My God. I can't remember the last time that I've set upon an anointed man of God Jesus. that spoke a word and pricked my spirit and I knew it was God. Jesus. Thank you for obeying the Lord. Yes. Thank you for your obedience to the spirit of Christ, man. Amen. Thank you for that word, man. I need that. If God had seen you here for no one else, your assignment was to minister to me. Jesus. And I received it. I received it. That word would not go out and return to God for it. I believe it's my season. Amen. 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 And I want to thank God for you and for your ministry, for your family. And thank God for the freedom that you feel. That when you come in this house, you can just be yourself. Amen. And that was the only reason the Lord was able to use you in such magnitude. And I want you to know that I appreciate your gift and I appreciate the anointing upon your life. And I appreciate your struggle Jesus. that you had to go through to get that oil and to keep that oil on in your life. Yeah. And the people that we lead have no way of knowing oh. of the struggles and the pain that we have to endure just to maintain a certain level of anointing upon our lives. I think they forget that we are real people too. You know I love you, man, and I appreciate you. And I call you such a short notice because as I said to you earlier, don't everybody embrace my poor people. But because of your love for the Lord and your love for the people of God, you just stood out. And I want to thank your wife and your children for how they get around you and cover you. Yes, yes, yes. I have the same thing with my three children yes. and my wife. They do the same thing for me. And we get up here and we try to put on the house like everything is all right because we know what our assignment is. We know it's bigger than us. But behind the scenes, we're real people too. Yes, 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 yes. We cry, we hurt. Yes, 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 yes. You know, we go through all those things. But our assignment is bigger. It's great. But I thank you for that word tonight. You know, because Apostle Mike, my thinking is just, just this. My assignment is here. And I believe if the Lord allowed me to see any further than my assignment, I might step out of his will. I may get besides myself. So he don't let me see, he don't let me see that fall. But when you come and you spoke that word, he allowed me to see where he was taking me. He allowed me to see what he was launching me into, how deep he was taking me. And I heard it. And I receive it. And I embrace it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray your strength in the Lord. And I say to you, if you ever need me, I make myself available to you. It don't have to be a week notice. It can be tomorrow. By way of the, of the anointing that God has placed upon your life. I thank, I thank God for you, man of God. God bless your heart.